Hello and welcome back to my craft room. Well, if you're a regular viewer, you might have noticed I've been a little bit AWOL just recently, haven't been making so many videos. I've um, given myself a little bit of uh, time away, a little bit of time semi offline because I've just, to be honest, I've just taken on a bit too much. And even when it's lovely things that I'm really looking forward to doing, you can have too much of a good thing more than you can fit into the time you've got. And I've also had some personal stuff to deal with and there's just been an awful lot going on. So I have to just take a little step back. Um, I'm just starting to catch up a little bit on all the lovely comments and things. So normally, oh look, I, I answer every single one of the comments on my YouTube videos. And um, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, you know, because I, it's just I think it's wonderful that people take the time to leave a comment, and and I'd just love to answer them all properly. But what I've had to do is with a lot of them, I've just had to like, I've just given a little heart just to show I've read it. <laughs> And I, I, I might not have had time to answer every single one, but that doesn't mean I don't appreciate every single comment. And and I definitely, I, I read them all every day. And it's and the same goes for the Facebook group and Discord. I've had to step back a little bit. I'm still sort of peeking in, but I'm just not sort of taking part too much. I'm having to to, to rein it in just a little bit and give myself time to catch my breath a bit, catch up on things. Um, it's it's frustrating when it's the things you like the the most that are the things that have to take a back seat for a while but you know sometimes but I have been making a little bit and doing it in the evenings and um, quietly by myself so I thought I'd just catch you up with um how I've been getting on with Artifartober so this is our take on the uh, Inktober this is the Artifartober prompt list let me show you it and this is I can't take any credit for this this is three of the, three of the girls in the discord community put this had the idea and put it together collated lots of ideas that came in from other members of the group and I just think it's a wonderful prompt list really inspiring it's it's actually day 10 today as I'm recording this and I have finished day seven I'll show you them in a minute um so I'm a little bit behind, but I'm getting there. And I've just, I've, st I've been, it's been so much fun to see all the different responses other people have come up with to these prompts. Uh, so as I say, I, I might not have been all that um, present, but um, I have been there, but just a bit in the background. What was I going to say? Oh yes, the <laughs> prompt list. So here we go. Here's a look at the prompt list if you haven't seen it. I've just done that and not, I haven't shared my screen so you couldn't see what I was looking at. You'll have just seen my, me waffling on. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm just waffling on about this and then realised I hadn't shared my screen so all you could see was my face waffling on. Ugh. So here we go. Here's this amazing prompt list. There are some wonderful prompts in there. There's not a single one that's left me completely stumped. So, uh, And some of them are really like, ooh, some of them have really got my creative cogs turning. And as I say, the responses that other people have had to these. Oh, some people are combining this prompt list with others and I'll, I'll show you a couple of examples in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, which I think is even more impressive. So, oh yes, you can find this prompt list if you go into the, if you're in the Discord group, go to the prompts and challenges room and then find the pin icon. It's top right on my computer screen, might be somewhere slightly different if you're looking on a phone um, or a tablet, but it will be that little pin icon and that will bring up all of the prompt lists which we've pinned in that room. We, you know, we had to do that because otherwise someone will post a prompt list and then people will post pictures of their creations inspired by that prompt list and then people will comment on those and so of course the, the list itself gets lost. So we pinned all of the prompt lists are in there. It's not just this prompt list, there are others in there as well. So just find that pin icon and they'll all come up for you. So I've just recorded that bit twice, that's probably complete. Oh, it doesn't take me long to get out of practice doing this. Yeah, if you so if you're not in the Discord, you can also find that prompt list in the Facebook group. Um, I've I've pinned it. It's in the feature post. I've pinned it at the top of the Facebook group. Links to both those places will be in the description box to this video. And I think I shared the list on my Instagram as well. So wherever you <laughs> wherever you are, you should be able to find it. Or if all else fails, just pause that pause the video there where I just showed you it and you can uh, take a screenshot or whatever I think that covers everyone then <laughs> and it's not too late to catch up it's only day 10 and um, they also did a short list of a light list where they just did one prompt every three days or you could just pick one one or two prompts whichever ones appeal to you so let's have a look at the ones that I've done so far <laughs> I've gone up to to up to and including day seven so I'm quite pleased with myself really <coughs> excuse me Okay, so here we are. This is the the book I'm using. It's a Sea White of Brighton 
sketchbook. It's 140 GSM and it said on the label, which has gone now, <laughs> long gone, it's nice that it's an easy pill label, um, that it was sized to give extra wet strength, which is really good. So it's quite a lightweight paper. It's nice and smooth and um, so which I like. I prefer smooth paper. The only time I want a little bit of texture is if I'm using coloured pencils, pastels or, or, or charcoal, things like that. But for the kind of thing I'm doing in this, I prefer a smooth paper, so that's really nice. And it's lightweight enough to cut up easily, but it seems to be very robust and I'm not getting any bleeding through no matter what materials I've used so far. So here we go. This is what I've got so far. These two are going to be glued together to make a title page. This was actually my piece for the Inspired By Challenge. And um, we're coming to the end of that. So the Inspired By Challenge this time was Inspired By Halloween. You've got until the 14th, so there's four more days. <laughs> um, if you'd like to create something inspired by that theme. If you do, use the hashtag Inspired By Art Collab and post it in the next, uh, post it by the 14th, because on the 15th of October, I shall be rounding up all of the different entries and, and doing a kind of video showcasing all of the pieces that myself and fellow collaborators have, have made, as well as everybody else who's joined in by sharing their creations online and using the hashtag. So that'll be a fun video coming up soon. So this was my tunnel book that um, it's just a, a haunted wood. <laughs> Um, I did really enjoy doing this. My first go at a tunnel book and there's definitely lots more I'd like to try. And in hindsight, I think I'd have liked to have left these pages separate. But I glued them all together because they didn't look that nice on the back. But yeah, I should definitely be doing more. So this was day one of Artifartober or Inkatober. <laughs> and this was the, the prompt was light in the darkness. So I used this quote by Mahatma Gandhi. Even a single lamp dispels the deepest darkness. Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, I just did a, an inked, distress inked background and then used a, a, I think I used a black pit pen, fine liner to um, to put the letters in and then a, a white paint pen. Had some little highlights, quite quick and easy. This is day two and the prompt was giraffe having a laugh. <laughs> Lovely time, I just had a real laugh with this. So this is a combination of a drawing, which I kind of used ink tents to colour in, I think, if I remember right, and collage. So it's a co the background is collaged with napkins and tissue, these tissue circles and things. There's some collage here, the hat is, is collaged on, and the, the, the human smile that I used. <laughs> you can see it is, a, it is a human smile, I've just kind of drawn and painted onto it. Ah, there we go, yeah. So you can see I've, I've stuck that on and I've just kind of painted and drawn around it and stuff. And uh, but the the main the main the, the face and the eyes and stuff are all ink tense pencils, and then I used a bit little cut bits of leopard skin <laughs> to make his patches. That was quite cute. And then found these were this word <laughs> cut out of a magazine. <laughs> so that was day two. Day three. This was whimsical cats. So I did five whimsical cats. Actually, they're all strung together like the old you know paper dolls that we used to make. <laughs> And this was actually combined with the scrawler box number number 97 scrawler box challenge which, where we got these um, brightly colored fiskers acrylic paint pens acrylic markers they call them i think and uh, a smooth bristol board so I, I did the individual cats and then stuck them together so they looked as if they were paper <laughs> done like paper dolls <laughs> so that was day three and even, even the gold pen you can see oh, it's not showing up very well it is quite it is a really nice gold in real life that was one of the acrylic markers oh, they're really nice nice to use right uh, so on to day four this is sunflower so with the um i mean i've um, but in my opinion with the with the inktober list you can do whatever you like with it it hasn't got to be ink these days I don't think it's going to be an Inktober police coming around if you want to do something different. But with the Artifartober list, we definitely encourage from the beginning, we encouraged people to, to use whatever media they liked, whatever techniques, crafts, arts, whatever they like. Any creative response is fine. The same as with the Inspired by Challenge, you know. Um, one of my upcoming prompts is going to actually be a recipe or recipes. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this one I went with stitching. And the prompt was for day four was sunflower. Sunflower is one of my very favourite flowers and has got very happy memories for me. I've actually just cut out two squares out of these two pages and inked it with some distress ink, partly to give that nice sort of colour, sort of skyish background. 
but also to give a little bit of depth so that the book closes a bit, you know, to allow for the stitching, just a little bit. Um, so I painted this on again. I used those uh, Frisk acrylic markers to draw out the, the shape of the sunflower and then I just stitched into it. It's quite hard work stitching into it. I got a little bit of a sore finger and thumb from pushing the needle through, uh, but it was worth it. I think I really love how I love the texture that that's added with the, with the stitching. Yeah, really happy with that. Hold it at an angle so you can get the texture a bit. There we go. Yeah, that shows it a bit better, I think. And I was very pleased with the little bee. <laughs> So this is just like French knot, seed stitching in the middle, just lots of long straight stitches. I think the outlines I did are just a running stitch, just a small running stitch. And then I whipped around it with the same colour thread. And with the bee, did the same thing with the wings. I think I did a couple of, or two or three lines across for each stripe and then did like a blanket stitch around or a buttonhole stitch kind of around those bundles of thread, if that makes sense. So I don't know what that stitch is called, but hey ho. <laughs> it worked quite well for the bee. Here we go. It worked quite well for the bee stripes. So that's day four. Day five, I used a piece of that. This was out of this world. I used a piece of that. Um, and I had all those frisk experiments with the on the frisk paper <laughs> some of them were disastrous these ones with the acrylic inks which is what they're meant for was, were disastrous but I quite liked the um, these were metallic watercolor paints and I really liked how they came out on this paper so it was this frisk black alcohol ink paper so yeah and, and that was with CSY gallery um, metallic paints and some of those um, yeah here they are I'm both still here because I'm going to do some more later yeah so that's that's the CSY paints and these as well both from Germany actually really enjoyed them so I thought I'll, 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 um, I'll see what I can I'll see if I can use a piece of it <laughs> it's coming off uh, to make a sort of space scene so uh, it's it's hard to show on the camera because of, of the glare of it with it being metallic, of course. But um, yeah, and not my finest, not my finest effort. But you know, I've done something. <laughs> Moving on. Flatland. Now this is my <laughs> my attempt at illustrating uh, the idea behind one of my one of my favourite books. If you haven't read the book flatland so it's called flatland i ought to write the subtitle under here the subtitle is well sometimes you see it as a parable of many dimensions sometimes you see it as a romance of many dimensions absolutely fascinating book if you haven't read it and you like things that will really get you really get you thinking really get into your head i think it, it was kind of written partly as uh, like a satire on on victorian society but it's also like an essay really about different dimensions it makes you and it talks about a one dimensional a one dimensional land and a two dimensional land and a three dimensional land and what happens when a three dimensional land when a three dimensional object kind of invades a one dimensional land I, I i can't even explain it i'm going to put um a link to a youtube video video um that we found which is carl sagan explaining flatland it's not very long it's worth watching and i thoroughly recommend it it's a good it's it was written by edwin abbott um a, a victorian scholar sometimes um it says on the book um it, it gives the author as edwin abbott sometimes the author is a square <laughs> Which is quite funny. Anyway, yeah, a very, a very, it really got into my head, this book. <laughs> really gets you thinking in, in lots of different ways, on lots of different levels. <laughs> um, so, so day seven isn't going to be here because day seven is actually, oh, day seven was Portrait of Annie. <laughs> Now I have done self-portraits before, but actually I'll close this up now because I think it looks nice on here. This is my cover. This is my cover. I should, so this is something I'd quite often do with art journals. When I finished a project, if I've got some nice brightly coloured paint left, I will just then um, I'll just brush it off on the cover, and eventually it builds up. By the time I filled the book, I've got a really interesting looking cover, and then I could add a title if I want to. Anyway, this was my portrait of myself. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I cut some books, some words out of old book pages. This is very much a, me, me in my happy place. This paper bead was sent to me. It's like a, an embossed paper bead was sent to me by a friend ages and ages ago. I've been hoarding it. I think this was Susa sent me this. And they, this was sent to me by, now was this, was this Deb or was this Jackie? It was, it was one of those lovely bundles of goodies that I got sent. It was either Deb or Jackie sent me that. This was from a sandal that, one of my sister's sandals that broke. And she was just going to scoop it all up and throw away. And I, I said, no, 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 and gathered them all up, put them in a bag and saved them. And I've gradually been using these beads. <laughs> and just like lots of wooden beads. This is a tassel I made ages ago. I haven't had a use for. A bit of old dyed muslin stuff plaited cord like we had on the whatnots beads everywhere and obviously that's that's me now this whole idea this isn't my idea this was inspired by um a class which was part of the free taster session um it's it's it was two weeks and she's extended it by a week being run by tamara laporte for re, kind of ready for the lifebook 2024 which starts in january um, I'd love to be able to do it. I just I can't justify the expense of it. I've done Lifebook before. If you're looking for a for a course, it, when I say expense, it's so reasonable. It's the price is so good for what you get. I, I just can't I just can't do it at the moment. Um, but I've done it before. Thoroughly recommend it. You get your money's worth over and over again. So many amazing talented teachers. Thoroughly recommend it. But anyway, the the taster session thing goes on for a couple of weeks and. Um, You've got uh, a couple of classes every single day. So um, I couldn't, didn't have time to do them all. I watched them. I watched them all, but um, I haven't had time to do them all. But this was one of them. And this was with Cindy Ross. And um, what she did was she took um, a piece of, she used muslin. I used calico because it's what I had. Then she used Mod Podge or similar. I used Mod Podge and glued napkin over the top. And I started with some of this napkin, which is what, which is Claire sent me glued that over the top and sealed it with Mod Podge and then she used um, paint pens and acrylic paint and stamps and stencils and things to create a kind of a it's, it makes this kind of leathery fabric it's incredible how uh, durable it feels actually and then you can stitch into it as well although I did find I had to poke holes through first it was a bit hard work she used some sari ribbon here but I couldn't find my sari ribbon and I found this and thought yep it's my pink hair thing again and she just made this kind of basic shape you know and this is this is these little dolls she makes them and keeps them in her art studio as a kind of affirmation thing puts positive kind of words on on the front so that's one side and then the other side is another part of me <laughs> in my happy place so yeah I'm very happy with that can't stop squeezing it um I think I will be, be making some more of these and I, and I might just you know have a go at just making some more of this up ready as well make it in you know make a few pieces at, at a time yeah really like it really enjoyed doing that um so that is my portrait of Annie <laughs> and I just thought I'd just show you some of the others as well that have been shared in discord and, and the facebook group so this first one I love that just that this is by now I don't want to say this name wrong Gonmari I hope it's I hope I'm saying that right uh Linda Lindal, Gomery Lindal. Um, she's in our Facebook group. I love this. <laughs> I think it's a really I think she's really caught a likeness, although it's very flattering. I, I definitely think you could tell who that was. And she's just put all my favourite things around me. I love how it's all enclosed in a circle like that. I just love it. It's bright and colourful and yeah, just a really yeah, ha happy face. Me and my happy place. Definitely love that. Yeah, I think um, what I'm going to do is, is print these ones off that people have the, the portrait of any ones and put them in my book where day seven would be. So I haven't got anything to actually stick in for day seven. So I think I'll stick other people's portraits of Annie in <laughs> for day seven. Make a little pull out page and uh, yeah, and then and then my 3D one will probably be attached to the spine of the book or something like that. I'm not sure. Haven't decided. So this next one now, this was, um, she's called Jen. I can't remember her saying, she's called Jen and she's uh, Imogen, Imagen, <laughs> Imagen on YouTube. So I'll, I'll link to her. She's been doing a whole series of um, 
videos on her YouTube channel and then she's not got very many I don't know if she's only just started doing it because she's not got very many subscribers at all um but the way she do, she does it you you think she'd been doing it for ages and ages and she shows how she does these marbling techniques techniques these pouring techniques really well really clearly every single one of her pieces for Arti Fartoba has got a, a marble background but she's so creative with how she how she does it and her, I'm I'm so impressed with how she controls it it's fascinating to watch so yeah I'll, I'll leave a link to her channel and I think at the time she she saw portrait of Annie on the list and didn't click <laughs> she said I only just discovered Annie a couple of weeks ago so I don't think this is actually meant to be me I think this is another Annie <laughs> But anyway, it's portrait of Annie, of Annie so <laughs> if it was meant to be me, that's very flattering indeed. <laughs> I love this one. This is Paula Lister. So she's Craftosaurus in our Discord group. Um, and I think she's in the Facebook group as well. And she's one of the people that's combining the two prompts. So and I can't remember, what's the other list? Is she doing the official Inktober list? Or is it a different one? And she's doing Artifartober. So on each day, she's not only doing a excuse me she's not only doing a picture which is combining the two prompt lists but she's also doing a stitched version of the Altifartoba list which also I'll show you that in a minute so this one the other prompt list was villain I'm assuming that's the official Inktober list and uh, portrait of Annie <laughs> I love it lovely picture um, representing me very happy with that thank you I love that and I can ride a bike yes Paula you're, I, I do I can I don't but I, I can I, traffic frightens me too much now and she, she said you know I've been out in the woods picking wildflowers doing a bit of sketching and stuff the villain is my cat in the back of in the basket on the back who's busy throwing out all my art supplies on the road as we go along which is exactly what a cat would do I love cats and I'd love a ginger cat like that <laughs> it did make me smile it's such a bright and happy um, and, and Paula's pieces are always there's always something in them that makes me smile she's got a quirky sense of humour this one look at this i think this is amazing she's really caught a likeness and this is claire claire 96 bell you'll know her as in the discord group and on instagram and she's uh, she's claire rowlinson in our uh, facebook group i i just love this i think she's really really caught a likeness she's got that thing that i do apparently she did use kind of screenshots off 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 of my youtube channels <laughs> <laughs> probably my thumbnails or something um as as a reference and uh yeah i have been doing an awful lot of this this really kind of to me sums up how i feel about how this year has been there's been a lot of this happy tears going on <laughs> and all the things <laughs> tissues at hand oh i've gone again <laughs> i've found my tribe yeah and she's written now that she's she's used that cohen or magic pencil i love the look of this magic pencil she said that she partly did use this pencil to stop herself getting too fussy. Absolutely love the effect of it. It's brilliant. Love it. I've got I've got to try that. And again, I love that it's all enclosed in that circle. It looks like an embroidery hoop. Love that. This one's Tori, a cool kooky creatures Tori. I will link to her as well. Just in case you haven't found her, I'm fairly sure if you're watching me, you've probably found Tori as well. She's doing one of the other prompt lists. I can't remember. She's doing the official Inktober one or a different one. She, I know she's posted a couple of different prompt lists, so I'm not sure which other one she's following. She was one of the people, so was Claire, who came up with the Artifartoba list. She's doing her Arti Fartoba prompts in an embroidery hoop. <laughs> so a different little tiny little um, embroidered icon for each of the prompts. And then right in the middle, she's got that Arti Fartoba and the Happy Halloween, which will actually be the number 31 prompt. Um, I just love that. <laughs> she said it's a tiny little Annie, so it's Thumble Annie. <laughs> and I can't believe considering that must be not much bigger than my thumbnail what she's got there um it's incredible the detail that she's got in there actually you would know that was me wouldn't you <laughs> and this one <laughs> so this is Sylvia you might know her as Sylvia back on the from the Facebook group and she's you and me FPP in our discord group <laughs> she apologized for making it look like I've got a burglar's mask on <laughs> <laughs> but of course that's meant to be my my uh my iconic nose comedy nose and glasses effect I, i've said that for years ever since i started wearing glasses i definitely i have got that comedy nose and glasses effect and she's captured it really well there. i love it oh, it's adorable 
Oh, and this one's from Tracy. This is Tracy Ann. You'll know Tracy Ann if you're in the Facebook group or the or the or the um, Discord. I'm just trying to remember. I can't remember a surname now. That's awful. Hang on. We've got nearly 300 members in the Discord and 700 and something in the Facebook group. So a lot of people to keep up with. They don't all have the same names in the same on the same platform. So, so she's called Tracy Ann Art 1987 in the Discord group. Barrett. She's Barrett. I think she's Tracy Ann Barrett. Anyway, you'll see Tracy Ann. You'll see Tracy Ann. Which whether you're in Facebook or Discord, you'll see her. Uh, I love this. <laughs> huge great smile and those glasses I really need some glasses like that again with the comedy nose and glasses you see and um, and the checkered background is very much Tracy Ann's trademark I love that this is the other one that Paula did so this is Paula Lister again Craftosaurus so this is her stitched version she's doing this kind of crazy quilt of, um, with, a, with a little um, piece a little patch for each of the prompts and it's t you know it's, you shouldn't got that much space so she decided to go with doing my initials as a monogram which I think is brilliant she's done a lovely job with that I, I'm not great at doing monograms I wonder if she just made that up or did she have a did she draw it out first I need to make more of an effort with my monograms and this one was Liz this is this is just Liz in the discord group group we've got um uh, Liz 143 handmade as well who's also on YouTube but this is the one this is Liz who's just Liz in discord <laughs> and I love this I, I've only, I haven't um downloaded the, the other pictures she showed of the inside so the inside has got uh, pencils and paintbrushes and things on it which is really cute and she said some really sweet things about she decided um she uh she was gonna show my qualities rather than do an actual portrait which i thought was a, a good interpretation of, of the prompt especially if you don't like doing portraits she just went for just showing um, what she sees as my qualities and uh <laughs> so she made me into a superhero <laughs> which i love wonderful fabric this is that'd be a really handy thing to have i wish i had downloaded that other picture as well it opens right out and this one's rachel so you'll know her as arily in the discord community and uh, she's rachel Breerton art on youtube i'll leave a link to her youtube i'll leave a link to anyone that i've shown who's also got a youtube channel i'll leave a link in the description box rachel's only recently started her youtube channel or her arts and crafts youtube channel it's going really well and it's it's uh yeah there's lots of inspiring things on there so definitely recommend a watch and i love this i love this it's so very much rachel's style and um and i love you know it's it's very flattering again <laughs> i can see it was meant to be the portrait of annie but it is quite flattering <laughs> but that's fine and uh, it's got some of my favorite things around it and it's got all of my favorite colors and i think she did is that a that might be, I know she's been doing some experimenting with brushos. I'm wondering if that's a brusho background, but it could just be something clever she's done with watercolours. She's so good with what, how she uses watercolours. This one is from Karen. Snoppy, you'll know her as Snoppy in Discord. And, uh, but she's all, she's all Karen and she's put there, oh, Annie. Oh, I just love this. She was sort of saying, oh, well, first and probably last time I'll do a portrait. Oh, I think this is wonderful. First ever attempt at a portrait. I mean, she's definitely caught something off me there. And weirdly, it reminds me of my mum. There's something very much my mum in this. So obviously, Karen is picking up something that I'm I'm recognising there. I think she's definitely caught something off me there. And I love this text in the background as well. I think it's really, I think it's lovely, really nice sweet sensitive little portrait and i hope she will do some more i can't believe that's the first time we've ever done a portrait karen seriously <laughs> this is pepper <laughs> she was another one who was combining prompts now i don't know what her other prompt was that she was following but it was melt no or drip no it was drip and she said i was melting <laughs> onto my desk and of you know of just a very few short weeks ago we've definitely getting autumnal now but not that long ago I was I really was melting in the heat up here <laughs> I didn't have a fan like that either I'm gonna have one next year I love this I just love it I love how she's done the hair and things as well it's a really it's a really brilliant like a cartoon isn't it it's fantastic I love it oh <laughs> and that's my purple cauliflower that turned up in my veg box last week and I took a picture because I thought no one will believe me there's a magenta cauliflower in my in my veg box anyway you didn't come here to see my purple cauliflower so that is it uh, for today I'm I'm going to I'm going to be still taking it a little bit quiet over the next few days you won't see quite so much of me as usual please do carry on commenting and stuff you, you know I always I just it really makes it really makes me happy 
when I see all the comments and things. So please don't think just because I haven't got time at the moment to answer them all individually that I don't read them all and enjoy them all because I really, really do. I really appreciate it. Do I need to say anything else? Remember too, if you're going to do create something for the Inspired By Challenge and it can be anything, any creative response at all, you can make a cake if you want, you can paint a picture, you can make a doll, whatever you want, whatever you want, as long as it's a creative response to Inspired By Halloween. And if you do post a picture of it online or put a video on YouTube or whatever you want to do, there's a few people have been doing videos on YouTube this time, which is exciting, and um, or one or two anyway, um, and make sure you use the hashtag inspired by art collab exactly as I've got it there don't add anything in don't leave anything out all of it exactly as you see there just put it in the text of your post somewhere or in your description box if you're on YouTube and um, just so that I don't miss it and in about three days time I will be looking to round them all up and put them into a showcase video if you want to join in with Artifartober please feel free to jump in whenever you like pick and choose which prompts you want to do use any medium any art or craft you like and if you'd like to share your creations with us you can do so in the facebook group or the discord community it's all free or if you're posting on instagram make sure you use the hashtag <laughs> use the hashtag if you're on facebook as well actually just to make sure i don't miss it and the hashtag for that is artifartober23 and that's also written at the bottom of the prompt list. Okay, I think that's all I need to say. I've gone on far longer than I thought I would. Far, far longer than I thought I would. So I'm gonna stop now, say my goodbyes. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for bearing with me while I'm taking it a bit easy for a few days. And I hope you're having fun arting or stitching or whatever you're doing in your part of the world and um, taking care of yourselves. And I will see you all again really soon. Maybe not quite as soon as usual, but very soon. <laughs> Take care. Bye.